Hello everybody, I'm the Director X and welcome to another episode of our Let's Build a Jurassic Park. That's the wrong intro. Good job. But no. Welcome to another episode of a Let's Build a Zoo in Minecraft. There we go. I almost got it. It's fine. It's fine. I am I am extremely sleepy, tired and frustrated because this is the 27th time I'm trying to record my intro. That may be an exaggeration. but i don't care but anyway welcome back in today's episode we are we, we are going to be building a bison enclosure now a big thanks to all the people who suggested me to do the bison enclosure and also a big thanks to everyone who supported me in the last episode i know i was talking about how i was demotivated to do youtube in the last episode but thanks to you guys i have been really motivated i'm really kind of getting my own style of making videos and kind of understanding stuff and it be, and I, i you know what big thanks to you guys for actually motivating me to do that and i really really appreciate it so you know what let's begin now i know people are going to ask for the size of the enclosure i will make sure to let you know in the end because i just want to finish building the enclosure first so there is that now what i'm going to do is i have a cool plan right i want to have these things like targets where the bison could hit their head and you know like get their anger off or something so that is what i'm going to try to build now so 1 2 3 4 5 we'll place one over here so we'll place a chiseled stone brick there we go and we will place a stone brick wall and above that let's place a spruce fence and above that let's place a fletching table now the reason i chose a fletching table is because they have these target things over there and i think they look perfect for this so that is what we're going to do we're going to add three more like this because there are total of four bisons one is a baby bison so it's fine it will grow up eventually so we will leave a gap of 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so we'll, we'll do that 1 2 3 4 5 we will do that 1 2 3 4 5 we will do that and we'll do the same thing again of course and you know what i forgot to bring a fun fact for the bison but it's fine i'll i'll just search it up before the next clip so don't worry don't worry and how does this look you know what that doesn't look so bad i genuinely thought it would look kind of weird but that doesn't look so bad and you know what you know what i got a cool idea right and i'm sorry if i speak in a little bit of a lower tone as i said i have been trying to record this episode for about 30 minutes and i only got like 6 minutes far before i screwed up so i'm really really sorry about that so my voice is like fully gone right now and i feel like really exhausted but what we're going to do is we are going to take a tree that i know very genius no no l- let me explain and i want to add a, i want to add a derp tree here right for some reason i feel like a big tree would go so well with these targets so let's see how it turns out so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 all right we break the bottom one and let's grow a derp tree a big one come on we can do it yeah there we go it's satisfying you know when the derp tree actually grows instead of a normal tree growing inside the stone So I'm really happy you know it makes me it makes me happy just just small things like this there we go voice cracks are going to be a occurring theme in this episode but how does this look how does this look yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this is exactly how I imagined it looks really really good and what I want to do right now is I want to add oh dude I saw this I saw this place right so they have this so they have this um pond area and they have like these fallen logs around the pond so i want to try doing that now for some reason the bison always are in this 
specific area they don't like moving away okay the baby bison where's the baby bison oh the baby bison grew up okay that's nice that's nice guys stop fighting let's be let's be friends let's be friends okay and yes i did forget to bring in the connected texture pack glasses i am sorry i was supposed to bring them back but i forgot because i'm a genius of course but let's try to do the pawn thing over here so let's get the tnt where is the tnt 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 yeah there it is nice and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Hmm, how do I want this to be? So we'll place one over there. No, we'll do that. And bloop, there we go. This this wasn't a big big, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that's decent. That's decent. I never know how big the TNT usually blows up for some reason. They they could be very random or they could be like a very specific <sighs> why why am i this smart just, just just tell me just just let just let me know in the comment section below you know why am i so smart like how could i let this happen this is this is so annoying oh dude uh i am so happy this didn't blow up like a huge area i would be really really annoyed okay and we'll just put one over here there we go i don't want the pawn to be too close to the to the uh, fletching thing because you know that that wouldn't make sense like how will how will the bisons like go and hit it right and we will probably place a last one over here there we go so let's blow that up okay there we go nice now we can just add some tnts in the middle to to you know break out this walls or formations i guess you can call them yeah there we go okay that seems like a very decent enough pawn size and what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know do the normal thing just fill it with sand water and all that cool stuff and then later we can do the we can do the normal wrecked rex things you know like adding stone adding fallen logs and all that so called my enclosure style which is totally not my style to be honest the pond is complete and this is how it looks and of course it looks like all the ponds in my zoo but what i did is i i added some bushes around like this around the place now as i said i want to go for like the simplistic stuff as i said before so that's the reason i i i, I am building this enclosure in this way now what i have done here is i have set up the base for the rock in this enclosure and unknowingly i made this look like a horn it looks like a bison horn so that's pretty cool but anyway i want to add a fallen log so let's do that so let's break not break it what am i even saying let's place this i will make this come in a curve formation no 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 like this there we go and let's break one over here and let's break this over here and we will bring no no stop stop why just why why don't you cooperate with me logs and how is this how is this okay okay that's not too bad we'll probably add like a small log over here as well just just, just to spice things up that I, I don't know what that was that was a very weird way of saying let's spice things up and as always we will add some fences around just to give that branch effect so we'll do that we will do that and we will probably do that and we'll just do this we'll just do this and we will do something like this and this there we go now we have our fallen log i wanted this to be in like a like a curve formation as if it's like fallen around the pond so that's the reason i made it in that way although it doesn't look too curvy that's fine so let's go over here and let's start building the stone. Now the fun fact about bison is that they are nearsighted. They are, they, they, they are, yeah, basically they are nearsighted. There we go. They have a good sense of hearing and smell, but they are nearsighted just like me, you know. I'm so glad I can relate to animals. If you don't know, I'm actually extremely nearsighted in real life, which 
sometimes when I think about it, it kind of makes me scared because, you know, people are like, well, if you get older, your eyesight becomes worse. But mine is already so trash. So I, I'm kind of worried. But hopefully my eyes don't go worse or else time to buy new eyes. I I know. No, just kidding. I, I, I like my eyes. I'm just going to keep it. It's fine. It's fine. You know, this is this is this is why I don't do jokes. I'm not funny. You know, I'm not funny. Oh, wh what happened? I, for a second, I thought I fell through the void. Uh, never mind. But there, there is this stupid glitch. I know I talked about this in my Jurassic Park video or Let's Build a Jurassic Park episode 2. But usually there is this glitch where I'm, if I'm just moving around, right? My screen just gets stuck and it keeps on going until I hit something or it gets fixed automatically. Which is very, very weird and annoying. Because if I'm playing in a survival world and I'm in like cave system, I could just potentially fall in lava without me doing any mistake. And that has happened to me multiple times while playing Sky Wars and all that cool stuff. Not sure why I said all that cool stuff. This is um, this is weird, but that's fine. That's fine. You know that that is fine. We'll just I'm I'm just gonna add some andesite slabs here and there. So bloop, there we go. And we're so close to the next world tour, which is on episode 40. Now for episode 40, I will of course will be showing you guys the enclosures and how they have changed and also i'm planning on using a shader to showcase the zoo because i haven't done that and i think it would be pretty cool to showcase the zoo with shaders so if you guys have any suggestions for any shaders that you guys would like me to use feel free to let me know in the comment section below i would really really appreciate it and bloop, bloop, there we go and also, just in, just in case, if you're wondering, I will be returning to the safari. I haven't abandoned the safari or anything like that. I will be I will be coming back to it. But I'm just kind of more excited to work on individual um, enclosures instead of the safari. So there is that. And you know what? This place is turning out really, really well. Now, what I want to do is I want to get some hay bales. Where is hay bales? Yeah, here it is a very nice so let's just take this and maybe we could place a bunch of hay bales over here like a hay bale stack I'm sorry if you heard the stupid vehicle noise in the back for some reason for some reason people go extremely fast when I'm recording and it's, it's kind of annoying it's well it's not kind of annoying it is annoying I don't know what I'm talking about but bloop, bloop, there we go I want to hand like a I want to hand like um like a hay bale stack I think I mentioned this already I need to repeat things so it goes into people's mind but uh, we'll just add some here and we'll add some there and how is that looking that 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 isn't looking so bad and I would like to say a big thanks to all the people who have been showing support subscribing and all that it's I know I, I keep on saying this but I really can't thank you guys enough. The support has been has been really really helpful and and I really really appreciate it. I, I genuinely can't thank you guys enough. So thank you all so much. We are so close to the 1000 subscribers. It is insane to imagine that this channel will be reaching 1000 pretty soon. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. And I would like to say that before I do the 1k special video, I'll be making an announcement video on what I will be doing for 1k. So please make sure to watch that because I give some important information and I will be showing off other people's zoo for 1k as well. So keep an eye out for that announcement as well. Now I know this looks kind of weird but well it's Minecraft my dudes. I'm just gonna use that I'm just gonna use that but you know what it doesn't look so bad you know I feel like a bunch of hay bale stack was needed so there is that so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna clear my inventory there we go I'm running out of breath oof I'm not sure why um well I'm not sure why actually I am sure why I am extremely talkative in this video for some reason now what else could we add? 
I know we could add a bunch of trees and stuff, but those are like the common stuff and I can of course add them. So you know what, let's, let's just add the common stuff and let's see how it turns out. I may also add some bushes around the place. So we'll do th <sighs> two mistakes, two mistakes in one episode. Oh my God, this is annoying. This is so annoying. Why do I keep on making mistakes? All right, I searched up some stuff on Google and I tried to find some stuff that I could pro possibly add to the zoo, but there is nothing else or to the enclosure, not to the zoo. I know I make a lot of mistakes in my videos and I usually not, I don't correct them because I don't even realize them while recording. But anyway, I, I meant the enclosure, you guys understand, but yeah, there's nothing really else that we could add. I have added some trees and, and bushes and stuff around the place just to, you know, give some greenery. But other than that, actually, this is, this is, this is, this is complete because all the enclosures I saw of bisons are really like just flat. Maybe because, you know, bisons need a bunch of place to walk around, run around and those things are huge. So maybe that's the reason why the enclosures are pretty flat, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of Let's Build a Zoo series in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Once again, thanks to, thanks to the people who suggested me to build the bison enclosure and also thanks to the people for all the support in the last episode. I genuinely really, really appreciate it. And uh, you know what, let me know how this looks in the comment section below. Looks pretty simple, but you know, as I said, we're going for simplistic and stuff. But you know what, I'm, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like, I like this hay bale thing over here. I'm not sure if this actually exists in real life. I just added it, but you know what, it's Minecraft, so it's fine. I think... I think, you know what, I think adding our own twist is, you know, a cool idea. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That, that's genuinely very amazing. You know what? He, he may be, he may be a bison athlete. You never know. You never know. You know, that's. That's amazing. This will go down in history as one of the best bisons in the world. And of course, some guy has to interrupt me while I'm doing my outro. Bye bye. Thank you for not staying long in front of my house and making vehicle noises. But you know what? I, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I think this looks good. And I'm looking really forward to the world tour. And once again, if you guys have any suggestions, for the next episode and also the world tour and which shader should I use for the world tour let me know in the comment section below but yeah I'm going to meet you guys in the next episode and until next time keep working hard never give up and goodbye